fuck yeah, bro. You know? Hi, it's Robert Mitchell, and I'm here at the 2017 Toronto International Film Festival. We're here at Midnight Madness for the premiere of The Disaster Artist. So can you tell me who you're playing in uh, The Disaster Artist? I play, uh, the real name of the woman I play is Julia Danielle, but I also play Lisa of the Room, which might be the greatest honor of my career, I have to say. <laughs> tearing me apart! The diamond bar, Lisa! So, uh, what's it like to work with James Franco as a collaborator? It's amazing. We actually did a movie together years ago, like eight or nine years ago, but I don't even know if we had any scenes together. And then with this, it was like being at movie camp. You know, everyone, I, I had Seth Rogen produced it along with Evan Goldberg, and I've done a couple of movies with Seth, and obviously James and Seth are old friends, and a lot of us sort of knew each other, and, you know, the camera would roll for a really long time, and you'd be playing around and super collaborative and doing stuff, and it really felt like your childhood dreams of being like, you guys, you guys, like, let's get together and then like let's redo these scenes from the room and then let's like talk about what that would be like to do it it was it was super nerdy in like the coolest way possible I'm sure, know like I mean? uh, you learned even more about acting just by hanging out and like being in this picture and it's like an ode to like struggling and making a movie yeah I mean I think nobody sets out to make a bad movie you know every and I think that's what I uh, this makes me think about is every single movie you see or don't see that you think who's like who wants to watch this who wants to do this some large group of people came together and worked really hard to make something and uh, and especially with this there was a lot of love in the room and um, it just is sort of like not a reality any of us were familiar with but uh, it, it was definitely it felt like a real honoring of um, trying to make your dreams come true what kind of experience do you think awaits this Midnight Madness audience tonight? Well, I haven't seen it with an audience yet. I just watched it with Seth uh, Rogen, his wife Lauren Miller, that I did for a good time call with in their apartment. And I nearly peed in my pants laughing and then was crying. And I hear uh, that it plays like, you know, like a rock concert with an audience. So I think they're in for a real ride of hilarity and hearts and wonderfulness. Well, I heard James was in uh, character, basically Tommy. Uh, in the picture, what was that like when he was out, uh, like in well, between takes? It's funny because we'll be, a lot of times we had these these shots that would go on for a really long time, and these really long scenes that we would shoot, and 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 so sometimes he'd be like, okay, like let's do it again, okay, like you go over there, and, and you just be like, it's a, wait, I'm sorry, is it uh, is this James or is this Tommy? And then he'd seem to break into a Franco smile and be like, it's James, it's James, you know, so. It was a funny, confusing thing sometimes. Awesome. Well, have a great premiere. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you.